on November 5, 1855, in Terre Haute, Indiana. Eugene Victor Debs was a child of meager economic standards. Due to his family's poverty, Debs was forced to drop out of high school and become a painter in railroad yards. Later, he became a railroad fireman, bravely ensuring the safety of so many people. A man of the railroad who has always understood the plight of the working class, Debs founded the American Railroad Union. On May 11th of 1894, thousands of Pullman Car Company workers led a strike that was supported by the one and only Debs. Surely it is not difficult to see the dishonest distribution of wealth in this country when you look at the mansions of Carnegie and Rockefeller. Debs, for one, is sick and tired of the big business crooks taking over all the wealth for themselves. Your other presidential candidates, like Roosevelt and Taft, claim to bust all the trusts, but they are not doing a good enough job. The overwhelming population understands this inequality brought on by our unfair government system. And Debs knows the solution. An easy transition that the government is hiding from you in order to keep their wealth. The solution is socialism. Socialism saved my life! The only reason that all working men are not socialists is that they do not know what it means. Debs understands that it is natural for a person to desire to excel in his or her profession. However, there is a major part of our society that is not natural, and that is capitalism. This evil of our country is destroying you, the working class Americans, the people who have built this country. Socialism is what will help us to rid America of this curse. Debs will give you your rights back. Those rights that were given to your ancestors. The rights that were taken away from you by the capitalist pigs. Those rights that you deserve will be yours once more. And Debs will pull your country out of the hands of the big business buffoons and return it to you in a simple majority rule form of government. So come on, America. You know what to do. Vote Debs for president.